Now you can remotely access networks with a measured amount of security without using VPNs. If you're not using a virtual private network, there are other connection security issues or mechanisms you can use. One of which would be SSH or a secure shell. Telnet is a very poorly secured way of connecting to a remote machine, but SSH gives us a more secure mechanism. It provides a secure method using encryption to access a remote machine. Additionally, you can also use SSL or now TLS, which refers to a secure socket layer. Now SSL and TLS provide us a layer of communication which again uses encryption that allows a web client and a web server to communicate. Now many people use SSL or the TLS protocols to secure web applications, but remember it only encrypts the communication between the web client, which would be your Internet Explorer, your Netscape or your Opera browser, all the way back to the web server, but any communication behind the web server, which will go from the web server to your app server or perhaps from the web server to the database, is going to remain unencrypted. So SSL TLS only takes you up to the web server and stops there.